Hey! Where'd you go? I went to the bathroom. <laughs> What'd you do? <clears throat> I pooped. I pooped big old turds. How was it? It was good. Have you ever this? Uh, so I have to smack the moons of me. No Have you ever had those like rabbit poops? Yeah. Aren't those weird. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call back to uh that one episode of uh Bioshock. Do you think there's any uh scat fetishes who like rabbit poop? Oh, I bet there are. I mean, human rabbit poop. Pick up hold the Metatron? I don't understand what I'm doing. Oh, God, this oh, is you, you almost stank. I mean, you do. You did. I stank? A few minutes ago. Oh, okay. I'll take Speaking that. Speaking of, of, of stink, it's not like a stink, but an odd smell. For uh, the last few days, my room has smelled oh, yeah, this has oddly weird. like paint. And it, it's like I had, like, you know, because I... You know, it's my room, so I spent some time in there, so I didn't really you notice it. You spent time in your room. Who spends time in there? Everyone room? does. You do. I spend time in your room. No, your room. Oh. I mean, like, people spend time in their own rooms. I guess that's true. So it's like, I was, like, immune to it somehow. Like, it just crept up, and, like, I just didn't smell it. Because I guess I was used to it, probably. But Max walks in, and he's like, dude, your room smells just like paint. Yeah. I'm like, I absolutely don't smell it. What are you talking about? And... Then like two days later, I walk in after like being gone for like a long time, and I was like, "My room smells like paint." <laughs> and uh, I searched and searched for the source of the paint smell, and uh, I actually it was actually a tangerine. Yep, I guess it's, it was. I, uh, that's weird to me. It was it was blue, with mold. Where did, where did you find it at? It was you know I have a bag of tangerines. Oh wait, so it was in the bag? Yeah. So I just threw the bag away. The whole bag? Yeah. I figured if one is like, it's not a tangerine anymore, it's just mold, the rest of them can't be in too good a shape. So oh, I think, it, I think that'll be fine. Uh, so fuck them. Why can't I do more damage with the splat? Because you're just a car. Shoot them. I don't want to splat them. Shoot them with your booms. Shoot them with the booms. I have to kill 150 of these things. No, you don't. That's a challenge. I'll kill ten of them by running them over. That's I'm at eight now. You have to pick up an Orbitron. What's an Orbitron? Ugh. Go to your quest marker and find out. Ugh. The old uh, waypoint. The thing? Yeah. Did you play um? Did you play Far Cry Three and I don't four? think this is the waypoint I wanted. No, that's not a waypoint. That one. Oh. Uh, no, I did not play Far Cry. I want to, though. It looks really good. Far Cry 3 looks really good. Far Cry 4 looked pretty good. What, Far Cry Primal? Far Cry Primal. Eh? Looks kind of eh. Yeah, I, you know. Only because, I mean, it looks primal? it looks just like a like a Far Cry game, I guess. Okay. But because you're like a, a caveman. So. It's like, why, oh, is, wow. the, why is this a, a time period that, you know, we would want to play in? I went and I saw some uh, some gameplay. Like I, like I watched some gameplay of it too. Uh, who'd you watch? I watched um, because we're poor and we're not famous. We can't get this. Yeah, these pre -plays. no. I watched. Um, so we have to watch the people play. Achievement them. Hunter play it. Okay. I watched John Tron. Jam play Tran. It. I've watched Jam Tran. I watched Jam Tran play it. Um, there was one other one. I forget, but they all pretty much played like to the same point. But yeah. They, you know, since they're very different people, they played in different ways. So, um. But they also like they were. But I, it, paid to do it. Yeah. So. But at at the same time, it's like. It's like why is that a that a, that a, that a, that like a period that we would want to play in? You know. I don't know. It could be fun. I mean, other than the fact that it's like, okay, yeah, you can see some different animals. I guess there's like. Mammoths and saber-toothed tigers, and I'm assuming like this is gonna be like a mouse type thing. And but it's like you have like a spear and a bow and arrow, uh, probably a club, yeah, an axe. You're, it's just melee, except for bow and arrow. And I feel like that's very far off from what every other Far Cry has been, unless they're gonna let you make some shit that's like, oh, you can actually also 
not only build a bow and arrow, but you can build like uh, a, the, a really good slingshot. And you can you can build a a a a, a, a trebuchet. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna focus more on the story than the actual like. But guns. you're also you're like a you're like a like a like a, a beast. Uh, I don't know what the correct term is. Like a beast master. You can control animals. You can. Yeah. You you, you, can, you know you have your your owl and you're like owl kill that guy and you'll be the owl and you'll kill that guy. You can be like hey bear. You know just do stuff. Which it, I'm I'm, I'm it's it's just different. I mean, it, the concept of it doesn't seem that interesting to me. Huh. I know the other the other <laughs> ones. I don't know Far Cry. I didn't play Far Cry one or two or three or four for that matter. But from what I've seen, um, three and four actually looked pretty fun. But I don't know Primal just like I don't know. I don't know. It rubs me the wrong way. And before it's like game of the year. It might. Be, it might be. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. What did you think of it? I I thought it looked kind of cool, so. What difference is, though? Mm. Kill the wabbit, kill the wabbit. I don't know. That's been in my head for a few minutes. By a few minutes, I mean I watched that episode of Looney Tunes, like, four times last night. Once upon a time, there Got was it. this moon. Then some military Did you ever watch Looney Tunes? No. Mining. Never once. Really? I've watched Looney Tunes multiple times. Oh. What? <laughs> She's like, wow. <laughs> what kind of demented childhood did you yeah. have? Wow. I, they're so good. So good. And Looney. But no, I was... I, f I forget what made me think of... Kill the Rabbit? Because, you know, they remember that one, like, opera episode with Elmer Fudd? And, you know, it's like... Dun, 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 yeah, dun, I don't watch what you're about. Like, kill the Wabbit. Kill the Wabbit. Kill the Wabbit. And then I ended up watching part of this like documentary on Mel Blanc. Oh, Mel Blanc is that? Did you start the timer, by the way? Yeah, I started the timer. Right. He is uh, the guy who voiced every Looney Tunes ever. Really? Yeah. He did them all. Like 99% of them. Called him like the man of 100 voices or something. That's not cool. He's uh seemed like a cool guy. Seemed like a like a guy you would wanna be friends with. Want on your payroll if you were in the voice acting. Business. Oh. <laughs> And be friends with. He seemed like a nice dude, like sympathetic dude, like cool dude, like a dude who could change his voice to sound like other dudes. Sounds like a sounds like a dude I can get behind. Yeah. I don't know if he, he'd probably get behind you though, because I mean, he's Mel Blank. He's the man with the plan. Stan in charge. Hard and in charge. Ready to roll. See that guy? It's yeah. Scroat Sack. <laughs> Wait. Whoa. It's. Okay, I thought that was his name. I saw the subtitle Scrote Sack. Okay, yeah, please don't give me something terrible. Please don't give me something terrible. So, but it's Son of Flamey. So I'm betting Flamey you're gonna have to fight here in a couple bits, right? Uh, no, I think. Uh, or is he like an optional boss somewhere? I think Flamey was killed. There's Son of Son of Flamey. A.K.A. Yeah, grandson, grandson of Flamey. And then that's when we're done. Alright, gotta go turn this sucker in. Do, 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 do. Damn it! But <laughs> catchy, right? It is. So you don't kill Flamey? No, he's already killed. Kilt. K-I-L-T. Yep. Kilt! Kilt. Dead. D E D D D Dead. Dead. No, I was gonna agree with you. I was going back to the last video. We're talking about uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah. I was going to do like, Game of Thrones was kind of like last season. It was like a bunch of nothing until like, the very end. Yeah, that's about what it was. But uh, that, it kind of got me thinking like I don't – like I remember – obviously we remember, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that happened in all the other seasons. But it's like I don't remember like when. So it's like it may, maybe all of it is like that. Really? Maybe. I don't know. Like obviously, you know, like the character, the story of the characters, but it's like, you know, like what really, you know, happened. Like the, the seasons I probably remember best are obvious. Are probably you know season six and season one. I don't know why one sticks with me, but like, you know, two through five or, or 
No, season. Yeah, five, one and five. Se six isn't out yet. Yeah. Two through four just kind of like blend. Hmm. Well, cause think like season one, right? Okay. Episode one, you know, what really happens? Nothing. King shows up. Winterfell. Bran gets pushed out a window. That's about it. But that's like, oh, we gotta get the people. We gotta get. We gotta, gotta get a cliffhanger. You know, first episode, the pilot. We gotta get people interested. Um, if they go south, not much happens. Not much happens. Okay, where the and then Ned Stark dies. Him? And then Ned Stark dies. So it might just be like, it's like very subtle things happen mid season, and then all the big things happen at the end. What the fuck? Is it supposed to do that? Yeah. Oh, it's like a Tricera Kragen. It's antagonized. Does it have little sad eyes? Is that what it was? A little sad eyes? Yeah, look at his face. I don't get enough. No, whatever. They probably blow up, blow up, blow up the, the, the tint. Oh, you got pooted. Eh. Okay, do I want um a shotgun? Like, I don't want light reactor. What's a light reactor? I don't know. Okay, so I have a light reactor. Either I can get a laser weapon or I can get like a, a shotgun or weapon. Weapon. Uh, so basically, one makes you a laser weapon, one makes you he'll send you a huge shotgun or something. Which one's better? Uh, depends what you like using. Which one does more damage? Shotgun, of course. Torque. Shotgun. I'm go sure with go the shotgun. Okay. Did you ever see that one episode of the Three Stooges? I think I didn't watch the Three Stooges as much as you did. Really? Yeah, I you watched the Stooges. Yeah, yeah, I know you did. I can't remember though if it was Shemp or Curly. I think this was a Curly episode. You don't want to watch it roll? What? Oh, is it going to take its sweet time? Yeah. Drop into the lava. But it's not rolling. <laughs> Why you said something I think about it. Um, <laughs> um but no, they, they, they work in like uh like an airplane shop, I guess. You know, like back in the forties or whatever, so you know, biplanes I guess. I think I do not understand. <laughs> and uh the like curly or champ. I'm pretty sure it's curly. Curly gets like covered in um like some really like sticky like adhesive like a tar or something and it basically like makes a suit around his body and then he like somehow haphazardly gets like a uh, hose of helium connected to uh to his suit so he fills up with helium then he floats to the ceiling and so you know hijinks ensue and they try to get him down they accidentally push him out of the barn and so he's just floating up up and away into the atmosphere and so Mo and Larry are like, "Holy shit, we gotta get him!" So so Mo grabs the rifle and he's like, "I'm gonna shoot him and pop his bubble, and then he'll he'll you know he'll he'll, he'll, he'll come down. Gravity will do its thing." And Larry's like, "No, Mo, are you crazy? You might miss him. Use the shotgun." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, Larry, we thought you we thought you cared for a second, but you just you just want to use a shotgun. That's why we, that's why we like you. That's why we kept you around, Larry. Fine." They're all related. It's pretty cool. I think they're all relatable too? No, I don't think so. Why am I in this one? I said they're all related. They wait, they Not really relatable are relatable too. They're all related? Yes, they're all related. In real life. Yeah. No yeah. fucking way. Yeah, no, um There's five of them. Mo and uh There's five of them, right? Yeah. No, there's actually six. Um Mo and Curly and Shemp were brothers, I'm pretty sure. And Larry was the cousin. Oh, I just jumped running to go back. Because it was Mo Howard, Curly Howard, Shemp Howard, and Larry Fine. So, yeah, they were all brothers. Larry was the cousin. Oh, no, there might only be five. Yeah. Mo, Larry, Curly. No, there's because there's Joe and Curly Joe, who are two of the uh, later Stooges. 
who I'm not sure if they were related or not. I want to say maybe one, maybe Joe was, but I don't know on those because they are probably the least known of Stooges. You remember the Three Stooges movie that came out not long ago? With like um. Um yeah, I didn't see it because I really don't care for the Three Stooges too much. You don't? I saw the look on your face. Slapsticks, man. Yeah, I mean. I, I mean, I didn't see it. I really wanted to. I just never got around to it. I could probably find it somewhere. Very easily now. Oh yeah, easily. But uh, it's probably actually on like Netflix. Honestly, yeah, it's I don't know. It's probably not good. I if it no one remembers it, then yeah. I still I still want to. I remember it. I haven't even seen it. It must be amazing. <sighs> I'm very sorry. But uh, yeah, it's uh, I don't know. Three Steeders were a very big part of okay, ye old childhood. Fall Let's tip. Bust it open. <laughs> Why did you like us? You're yeah, very, very rude. rude. Mother trucker. <gasps> oh. Verbal space, space morality statue. statue. You just got a ticket. But I Do you know who Claptrap sounds like? Oh. Bill. Bill. Yeah. Bill. Cypher. Oh. Hey, you're right. <laughs> I was thinking about that earlier today. I was like, I wonder if it's the same guy or the same voice. Modification oh, technique. Don't they? I, I bet it's the same yes, thing, yeah. They sound very, very similar. And it, it's it's kind of cute. Kind of makes me think uh, maybe there's some kind of connection going on here. Maybe uh, Claptrap is actually Bill Cipher and the world of the Borderlands is actually just Bill's Plane of Dominion. Huh. With all like the crazy monsters like Bully Mongs and Cry Kragans and and moots. And the moots. And moots. They haven't happened for an age. And moot. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I don't know what you're talking with the, with tree. The moot. Uh, it's just a, a word that pops. I can't. I couldn't think of any <laughs> names of creatures. In this, in this game. <laughs> oh, I was like, and moots a thing that happens. Is that Leia? Old Leia? Yeah. She's got the hair. She made you good. No, it's Nurse Nina. But she's got the Leia buns. Yeah. Hi, I'm Princess Leia. I spent the 30 odd years or so in between Star Wars chain smoking. Hey. Did you go shit for that? Hey, JJ. Can I put on the Slave Leia outfit again? <laughs> it made me feel very pretty. I think it's I think it's in really good taste if I wear it again for this movie. Maybe I can maybe I can put the moves on Finn. <laughs> How you doing? I remember when there was only one other black guy in the galaxy. <laughs> Lando Calrissian. Don't tell Han. But I liked him. He was a good guy. He was a he was a good good guy. You want to know why we let we left Han frozen for three years? Why? I was living it up in Cloud City with Lando. Was Han frozen for three years? It was wonderful. Yeah. Who was? Yeah. How do you know that? They let him sit. It's it's stated somewhere. I forget where. It's not like mentioned in the movie, but it's like in like the literature. Somewhere. It's three years. Something like that, yeah. I'm going to Google it right yeah, now. Yeah, do it. I don't think it was three years. I thought it was like half a year. I, I'm pretty sure. I thought it somewhere it was three. How long was Han Solo? Do you say Han or Han? I say Han. I say Han too. I don't know why I said Han there for a minute. According to Wikipedia, Return of the Jedi begins... In well, that's some. I don't know what that unit so of time is. They use Mara, the Gregorian like calendar. Is but like, I don't know what an ABY is. This guy's still Just how long? How many years? I don't know. Uh, Where? Where? Maybe it wasn't three years. Oh, so, okay, about a year. I'm according to this. Uh, so, here's the thing. Uh, uh, 
But it was like three ABY years. Which who knows what that actually means. So about a, about a year then? So it's about a year. I mean, is that long? He wouldn't know. No, I mean, not for him, but I mean, like, this is a good place for next time. Right. But I mean, for, like, people to, like, uh, like, you're his friends. I mean, like, how long did it take them to get, like, I mean, they, I mean, I know it's a galaxy and it's big and it takes time to travel everywhere, but it's Star Wars. They go, they go far away very fast. So it's like, it was probably the whole time spent, like, Lando just smuggling himself into Jabba's crew. Yeah, Le well, Le literally just waltzed in. Yeah, that's true. They came like, with a plan probably about a month. Plus, Luke had to get his hand. Plus, he had Luke, his hand. Plus, Luke had to... That's the very last scene is him getting his hand. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. Right. You're right. But that scene could have been a couple months after a uh, month, maybe? A couple uh, weeks? Don't think so. But then he had to make his new lightsaber, okay? Because he lost it. Yeah. And that's the one that shows up in the Star Wars nope, 7. There was actually a deleted it. scene that uh, showed him, like, putting it together. I saw like a really, I saw a really cool uh, fan art of him putting it together, but yeah, I don't know why like the green like he'll probably still have the green one. He should still have it. And uh, no, because he throws it away on the incompleted Death Star. Remember? Does he? Yeah, because remember he's like, he's got Vader. You know, he cut off his hand. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get you, Vader. I'm gonna get you, my dad. I'm gonna get you. Look at all this power. And Palpatine's like, yes. good, strike, strike him down. down. And he, Take his place he, he by off, my side. He turns off his lightsaber and pauses. Does, does he actually chuck it? it? He throws it. He uh, does it. I'll never turn the dark side. And then he zaps him and zaps him and zaps him. And then Darth Vader throws him over. So unless they show him like off camera, him getting his lightsaber back, he definitely like threw it away. <laughs> anyway, next time. Next time. <laughs> hey, I'm Maxwell. What's up, guys? I'm Alex. Uh, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see there. more, click subscribe. Subscribe's in your crotch. Well, I guess it's. Is it? Yeah, it's coming away. Yeah. Down here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> click here. We've got more videos. Up and no, that up. Uh, up and to the right. Up and to the right. <laughs> oh, is that, no, that's the left. <laughs> up and it's to our the right, left. but it's your left. <laughs> <Here it goes. laughs>